How's it going party people? I'm Joshua Aaron and today I'm going to be reviewing Star Fox Level 2. This is truly a fun one. It's a little more difficult, but again, definitely a fun one. A couple of minor changes were made, but um, including some of the stage layouts even. But the first stage and the last stage pretty much remain the same except for one little bit that you're about to see here. And just like in the last video, um, Pepper, the dog, pretty much says the same thing. Star Fox team, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. Goodbye. Yep, just like last time says goodbye. And here we go. Again, slightly different from the last video. The stage layout for this one just a little bit different, but pretty much remains the same. Just like in the last video, you gotta go under these underpasses to get a brand new blaster. I hate those door thingies. They're so obnoxious. little deals that parachute down. They're pretty much like uh, little bouncing robotic grasshoppers, if you will. Uh, that was the only thing I could think of. It's like, hmm, grasshopper. It doesn't look exactly like a grasshopper. Let me know if you ever find a bouncing metallic grasshopper around. I definitely want to see that. And just like in the last game, again, you get the uh, courier, and it's pretty much the same deal here. Nothing changed in the second level on this one. Basically all you do is shoot the openings, shoot the openings, and shoot the openings. Yep, he tries to bomb you, so just dodge his bombs, or you can use, you can do it like I do, it just use the roll to dodge, to dodge the bombs and you're good. And there you go! Nothing to it! Okay. Anyway, on to the next stage, which this time, it ain't no asteroid belt. This time, it's right above the planet at Sector X. Yeah, there's actually a stage called Sector X. You're about to see it. Andrus's forces intend to build a base in this area. Destroy their rock crusher. Hmm. You know, that sounds vaguely familiar. Anyway. Yeah, I wasn't joking when I said this took place right above the planet. Yeah, here they come. 
But no, really? I thought they were just leaving. Why does this frog keep getting attacked from behind? Does that make any sense to you? Come on, extra life, extra life, extra life! Oh, fuck! Damn it! So in case you're wondering if you missed the last video, this right here is where it, it goes into kind of a first person space shooter, if you will. You're inside the R-Wing and you're pretty much just shooting at your at the aliens. Pretty neat actually. I love the effect on this. But you only get to see this effect if you're in space and not in a planetary environment. Y'all need to stop attacking the frog, seriously. Especially if he's coming especially coming from behind, that's bullshit. Oh, I just lost my invisible shield there. That's no surprise, it's it's always right about here is where I lose it. That was cheap. Ask a perfectly legitimate question. Where did all these metallic beams come from? And why are they flying in every which way direction? That's two per that's two legit questions I have to ask now. Again, just like in the last video, didn't need to say more, all I had to do was just kill. Looks like I got a bonus credit. All right, I'll take it. All right, on to the next stage. Here we go, the planet of Titania. Very interesting, as opposed to the moon Titan for Saturn. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, not Titan. Far from Titan, it's Titania. Granaria's resource world has been overrun. You must retake the weather control unit. So it's overrun, and the one thing I gotta go after is a weather control unit? Huh. I wonder. Let's see what we got going on here. I guess that's why. I'm basically flying through a blizzard. Seriously, it's just like I said in the last video, if I wanted to crash into freaking rocks that just appear out of nowhere, I would just drive west. Oh, mind, oh, mind your own business. 
yeah, some gratitude, huh? Not thanks for saving my ass, just mind your own business. Wow, okay. You know what? I think as far as Falco goes, alright, I'll mind my own business. Next time he gets attacked, I'll just leave him alone. Fuck. There's the weather control unit anyway. Just cleared up that blizzard. <clears throat> well, get out of my way then! Here we go. Stage boss. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, we'll see who's saying bye bye after this, huh? Nah, let's go kick his ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, real classic. You send your lackeys in after me before you come after me, your damn self. Chicken shit, thought you were so tough, huh? <clears throat> All right, on to the next one. This one is Sector Y. Hmm. As if they couldn't come up with a better name for it. I guess it's just Sector Y. It's not... It's not in some cloud sector or nothing like that. It's just Sector Y. Okay. Anyways, General Pepper asks, How are the R-Wings handling? If an amoeba clings up into your ship, use L or R to get rid of it. I've pretty much been using L or R the whole time, so yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer to me. Here we go! Now in this particular stage, you start off um, just with a normal view of a, of your ship. Um, kind of third person, if you will, but you can hit the select button a few times to switch from third person to zoomed. And then the first person. But again, that only works in the space environment. If you try to do it on a planet surface in this game, forget it, it ain't gonna work. Speaking of amoebas, this is what the amoebas look like. Alright, here we go. Gotta go through amoeba to get the extra life. I'll take it. Yeah, that was worth it. Yeah, there's these little bastards. Fucker. Oh, little twin blaster asshole, too. Now you see that giant stingray looking thing there? Beware of it. Do not touch it. Do not go near it. Don't even shoot it. If you shoot it, all you're going to do is piss it off. Alright, here we go. Sector Y boss. This one's kind of an interesting one. He shoots he shoots bombs out of his arms. I have to shoot your blaster inside the arms in order to attack him.
Oh, you got some lunches for pitos too. Yeah, because it's cheap. Shoot blasters into him anymore. Now you just shoot at him. Ugh. Oh, and I just killed him too. Oh, fuck. Ugh, I hate that shit. Oh, that really jerks my chain. I'm pissed. That really pisses me off. Alright, come on, for real time. One thing I didn't mention, in case you didn't watch the last video, is when you die, you actually start all over again with a single blaster. So you don't get to keep your twin blaster or nothing like that. You literally start over again as if you were just picking up the game where you left off on the same stage. Oh wait, no, that's Ungrateful Bastard? Yeah, no, fuck. Yeah, tough shit. Be a little more grateful next time. Some playing as well. My socks on. <coughs> All right, so here we go. For real this time. Be careful, you guys ain't even open. What are you talking about? Like I forementioned, these bombs literally destroy everything in the past. This boss is about the cheapest motherfucker I've seen in the whole game. Great kid, don't get cocky. Ugh. Damn stingray. Well, get out of my way! this time. That was so fucking stupid. Oh, hello. Every once in a while you get this whale and this whale starts giving you all kinds of good stuff. Like they'll give you more shield, they'll give you bombs. 
They even give you the Invisi Shield. They give you another Twin Blaster. This whale, could say that whale is my best friend. And he is. So nobody shoot my whale. You hear me? Shoot my whale, that doesn't sound right. Anyways, here it is, the boss, once again. Fucking asshole. Did I say this guy's cheap? I mean he's cheap. Either that or I just suck at this game. Or both. Either way, this asshole's cheap. That's why I'm not doing this in first person. I want to be able to see what kind of bullshit he's trying to pull. Ah, damn it. Yep, shield's gone. That sucks. shit missing. Well, I decided to let Falco die, because he was being an asshole. Finally. <coughs> I may want that. I may want that bonus credit there. I don't know, it depends on how I do in the next two levels. Yep, so we're finally at Venom. God, I'm lucky I made it this far. Now, Pepper right here tells you about all the changes. Is everyone alright, Fox? You're on course to sneak into Venom's back door. Yep. Also known as the capital city of Venom. Here we go. Shoot him! Damn aliens! Blow him up! Ooh. Yeah, so as if I thought the skate pods were bad, no, these ones are worse. They break open and act like a grid for you to crash through. Oh yeah, look, speaking of skate pods. Looks like I knew enough to shoot. Yeah, you thought I was kidding when I say they break open like a grid. Fully at that. Ugh, oh, damn it! That's one right there. Damn it! Fucker. Oh, look, more grasshopper things in space this time, though. Oh. That would be cheap. Out of the way, I said. God, I swear. That rubber reminds me of the word you learned to fly, bitch. In Cybermorph on the Atari Jaguar. Have 
if that was too much for you, you just uh, go to the search bar and search where'd you learn to fly. You'll see what I mean. Oh good! Birdie's here! More shields! Oh yeah, give me some of that shield. I'm gonna want it. Now, the fifth Venom boss. Yeah, as if I thought the other one was fucking cheap enough. See what I mean? He's cheap. That was lucky. Ow, ow, ow. I just got crushed. I just got crushed. In 16 bits. Oh boy. And I'm back here. I think I got some continues. Don't want those. Thanks for that up. <coughs> yep, those bombs definitely do come in handy though. Now, as you can see, I'm out of lives here, so what happens is, when you die, you get this game over screen, and then Andrus's face just pops up like some Easter egg right over, saying, Heh heh heh, gotcha. And then, normally from there, you'd be back at the beginning, unless you ended up with those little fox heads at the end of a couple of stages, during which time, you get this screen. It says you got two credits. Do you want to continue? Well, I do want to continue, yes, but first, water. There we go. Still, this is probably the best continuous screen I've ever seen here. I mean, you can hold the A button, and it freezes the little demo R-wing into many different uh, pixels, if you will. And you let go of the A button, and puts the R-Wing back in real time. And you get to do all kinds of trippy stuff with it, too. Like, you can make it spin faster. You get to make it go crazy. You can get to hold it even more frames, so you can just see the R-Wing go nuts. You can use the L and R button to zoom in out on it. <laughs> I have way too much fun with this sometimes though. Anyways, you hit the start button to select yes, and then you're back here. Now you're making your way to Venom. And you get to read this again though. Is everyone alright, Fox? You're on course to sneak into Venom's back door. Good luck. Alright, here we go. For real this time. No more playing around. Fuck this, I am out of here. But I know good and well I am done yet. Ah, 
I better be real careful here. Now I got no lives left whatsoever. No, uh... Well, I got one more continue, but that means I'm starting all the way back at Stage 5. The Stage 5 boss again, which I definitely don't want to do. So yeah, uh, I better be real careful here. Anyway, on to the next one. Oh yeah, so you thought I was joking when I said uh, Capital City of Venom. Well, it's true. You're basically in a freeway environment, if you even call it a freeway environment. You get all these little uh, hover ships, if you will, just trying to get on your, just trying to get into your lane of traffic, and they want you to crash into them. By the way, this is also one of those planet environments, so you definitely can't uh, just select to zoom. You can select to zoom in, but you can't uh, you can't use first person in this. Here comes more of these guys. Yeah, you gotta shoot him because otherwise he's gonna bounce off the wall and make you crash into him. Like that. But there we go. <laughs> oh, from behind? Oh, well, yeah. Real fair. It wasn't the boss. It was real close though, but it wasn't the boss. And then I got one of these again. And that means I'm doing the stage 5 boss all over again. Ugh. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Got one more credit? I'm gonna buckle the hell down. I think. Good luck. Oh, good. Good, I picked up right where I left off. I don't have to do the level 5 boss again. Good, because that son of a bitch was pissing me off!
But I'm not done yet, and I barely got a shield left. No mistakes at this point. It's all or nothing. pretty much Star Fox level 2 in a nutshell. The ending's pretty much the same. You just leave Venom and then you get to see your score and all the good stuff. Have I beaten level 2 before? Absolutely. That's a rather, it's rather satisfying when you do. But anyways, that's pretty much this review. I'm Joshua Aaron, signing off.